Hello! And we are live with more... Homestuck! With... Arm. Hello, I'm Arma. Yeah. Uh, so, since the last thing I've downloaded the, um... The thing that was recommended that has, like, all of... Homestuck, what was it called again? The, the Homestuck Complete Collection? Oh, hold on, I just realized mm. I can check. I think it's the Homestuck Unofficial Collection. Yeah, the Homestuck Unofficial Collection. Wait, the Unofficial Homestuck Collection, my bad. Close enough. The Unofficial Homestuck Collection. So we're going to be Word. using that now. Uh, when we left off, uh, we fo we're following John Egbert, who... Uh, uh, the main character, or I assume currently is the main character since we've been following him for the entire story so far, but I've heard Homestuck it's weird, so I don't know. Uh, John Egbert has been meandering around his home trying to get a game called Suburb, and he just finished installing it and is now messaging one of his friends. It's been yes, okay. several hours of reading. <laughs> That that's 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 a sum up of all the previous episodes we've done of this so far. That... Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of meandering. Yeah, but I mean that makes sense because the way this was written was like working off user submitted comments, so people were controlling the protagonist, and you know, people are people. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why his name's John Egbert. Uh, so, he's now getting a message from his friend, so let's show the pester log. Uh, the tentacle therapist begins pestering ectobiologist, that's Egbert, uh, at 1708. It looks you managed to retrieve the beta. Excellent. I'm going to try to connect. Well, okay, but I just got the most awesome present. The rabbit. So sweet. I've heard tales of this wretched creature often. Its Omeric legend is practically unscorned in the fold of my personal mythology by now. <laughs> what? Why don't we focus on the matter at hand? Oh, the game, okay. I don't really know how this works. What am I even looking at here? I think we read this at the end of the last episode. It's a nice little catch-up. Yeah. You're running the client application. I am running the server. So I'm the host user. I have established a connection with you. This sufficient. This is sufficient for us to play the game. Oh, okay then. Why don't we get started? John, press enter. It's happening. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, equals equals greater than. <gasps> Just in time for the first animation, huh? Yay. Epilepsy warning. Climax, the name coming up is. Yeah. Uh, equals equals greater than. You can mouse over the interface <gasps> button. Oh my god, it's actually interactive. Except the the thing on the left isn't. Oh. I was hoping I'd actually be able to like move the camera. Okay. Select. Revise. Deploy. Perennial Registry, Grist Cache, Explore Anthem, and Alchemy Exorcist. Okay, um... 
I think you can't click anything. It's just oh, giving it's you just... like a mouth over and Okay. I think he's still learning his ropes around Flash, it feels like. Yeah. But it's 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 the start of something. Yeah. This actually looks like a good game UI. Well, it's like select... a little bit of a sims. Yeah. Select magic chest. Zoom out. Wait. Does John's room have a door that opens onto the roof, or is that just the hall next to his room? You're asking good questions. Hang on. I'm, I'm gonna replay the animation. I'm gonna replay the footage. Yeah. That I... does seem to be a door that leads out into the roof from Eckbert's room. Huh. Uh, drop chest. Whoa, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm just getting a feel for the controls. Is my magic chest on the roof now? Yes. Oh. I will try to be more careful next time. So is this just normal in their world? I feel like if I connected to a friend with a video game and they edited the real world, I'd be more concerned. <laughs> They're taking it in stride. I'm assuming that just means that this is a normal thing in their world. Alright, uh, John, get the card. I mean, that being said, they literally have a weird logic by which they can take items, like... Honestly, yeah. is it the weirdest thing yet? Fair. You find your missing stack fetch modus and quickly reapply it to your Silidex. You can now opt for either the stack or Q modus any time. You toggle between your fetch moda with gleeful abandon. Equals equals greater than. Also, did this shirt change from green to blue? Did it? I think so. It looks like your dad is leaving again for some baking supplies. You're relieved to have the house to yourself again, if only for a few minutes. You just hope he doesn't notice the magic chest on the roof, or all the shit you threw out the window for that matter. Oh, uh, Tyrant King Xenomorph? Yeah, you can talk about whatever in chat. What, you want to talk more about, uh, Old World Blues? Tyrant King was very, uh, vocal during streaming. Uh, select stuff in yard and move it back into room. Hmm. Show pester log. Uh, hey, do you think you could uh, do me a favor? Can you grab all the stuff outside uh, my broken window and bring it in for me? I'll give it a shot. Thanks. No luck. It appears to be out of range. I'm guessing it is too far away for you, the player. No. Uh -huh. oh. But yeah, you, you can feel free to talk about whatever in chat and we'll try and like riff back and forth. While also trying to keep the pace of the story going. Oh, sorry, uh, select John. I forgot to read it. Me reading it is how I cue us progressing. Uh. You cannot select a player. John abjures the meddlesome cursor. <laughs> select bunny. Uh, put the bunny back in the box. The bunny has been put back in the box. <laughs> Revise room. Oh no. What does that look like from the outside? Well, I uh. guess we'll find out. Equals equals greater than. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking Sims logic. Don't need no roof. Just yeah. 
Uh, hang on, responding to chat. Uh, open perennial registry. Perennial registry. What the fuck? Hold on, it is a. Uh. Totem, lathe, alchemy, alchemeter, and what was the first one? Mm, it's the Cruxtruder. The Cruxtruder. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Now I genuinely want to play a game like this, and I don't even know what the fuck any of these things are. <laughs> From what I understand, the actual official Homestuck game that was made that was nothing like this. It's just like a classic style point and click adventure. Mm, a little bit of a shame, honestly. Yeah, because there's Missed opportunity. Like, and when I compare this to when other pieces of, like, other, like, shows or webcomics or whatever are like, We're, this is about a game. Like, so many of them, it's like, this is about an unplayable game. Like, God, Sword Art Online's UI is one of the worst UIs I've seen in anything. Uh, deploy Totem Lathe. Mm, but don't... Oh, it's it's a lathe, it's not a lathe. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Lathe. A uh, lathe, lathe is a thing used for carving like wood, like making baseball uh, bats and other things like uh, like bed frame pieces and such. Okay, I will probably butcher that word. Yeah, I didn't realize till I saw it put down like that. That's clearly a lathe. Uh, John, examine totem lathe. You. Don't know what the heck this thing does, but it looks neat. TT, open grist cache. It seems expanding the, 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 the it seems expanding the dimensions of your room cost up some build grist, but deploying the lathe did not appear to incur any expense. It looks like certain objects are freebies, probably to help you set up the game. Wow. Okay. What do they do? I think it's up to you to find out. All I can do is drop stuff in your house and move it around, apparently. How do I move stuff around? It sounds fun. I don't think you can do that as the client. You will need to install the server application. You should have received both in separate envelopes. I'm running both on my computer right now. What? Did you get another envelope in the mail? No. Once you install the server and establish a connection, I'm sure you will be able to manipulate my environment in the same manner. Are you sure you didn't get it? Oh man, I think I might know where it is. Equals equals greater than. Mmm, the gift in the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. So until the dad gets home, he can't do it. Good way of slowing the pace of the story. Absolutely. And I bet I you love... the creator would have easily, if he had gotten, if people had grabbed that one first, he would have, like, basically been, a, a, I wonder if he would have made it so that, uh, Egbert was the host, or if he would have just flipped what the boxes were, like, narrative rigmarole, like, like a hmm. DM can do. I have no idea. Hmm. Now that your room is bigger, why don't you move to the far corner? It will extend the range of the cursor I can reach the items, which you threw out of the window for some reason. Good idea. What have you been doing in here all afternoon anyway? Uh, I was fussing with my re- uh, mm. I was fu uh, fussing with my stupid Silidex. Kid, this was written in like 2009, so... Uh, but I think. <clears throat> But I think I have it under control now. What modus do you use? I like to use trees. Oh no, that sounds so awkward. It's not exceptionally practical, but I think they are elegant. John, stand in corner. Go in the quiet corner, you impetulant child. Yay! I love- I was like- <laughs> Yay! He loses his teeth. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> TT, deploy Krukstruder? That sounds uh, like something uh, for making croissants. <laughs> Homestuck. 
now with croissant machine. Is that the front door? TT, deploy alchemy, uh, uh, alchemeter. That looks cool. Uh, why is the floor shaking? Are you dropping more stuff in my house? Yes, two more large gizmos. Sweet. What is, uh, uh, the, what, <laughs> what is with <laughs> all the big contraptions? If I had to guess, they appear to facilitate a sort of system involving conch card based alchemy. To what end? I mean, what are we supposed to be doing in this game? That remains to be seen. Maybe you should go investigate. John, get PDA. So we see. God, he's still got the broken glass in his inventory. Um, Siri, grab... or hang on. Oh, I gotta okay. read Serious Business. Serious Glad Business. You Yo, hang on. You're Daddy DeVito. Oh, oh, it's the dad talking? I mean, it's Serious Business. I mean, not all of them are dad, but some, like, one of them has to be. It's his PDA, after Oh. All. Wait, so do we know which one is him? It's... Hang on. We have gray slack 66. We have, have well-preserved attire, office urchin 280, and too busy for this. I'm zooming so, in. They're all just gonna be Daddy DeVito. Alright. Serious. Daddy. Serious busy. Er, hang on, hang on. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? I need a key phrase to get me in. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Serious business. The following matters have been submitted in a frank and forthright manner for Pipe Fan 413's Judius appraisal. Gray Slack 66. Decide to return home for fresh tie. So solid to, or soiled tie will be laundered immediately upon return. Well pressed attire. Use ballpoint pen to roll the tip of cloth. Extract pen. Press rolled cloth against ceramic surface. E.g. restroom sink. In future, consider repositioning hat hook and or coffee pot. Uh, office urgent 1280. F photographic documentation of incident? Question mark. Gray slacks 66. Was po posturing unevenly to reach for a hat on hook. Tip of tie slipped in open mouth of pot. Duration of dunk approximately three seconds. Too busy for this. Pleb. Uh, or, what does that say? P I think it's supposed to be please elaborate. Oh, please elaborate on incident. Oh, I'm, I'm working backwards. I just realized. Mm. Gray slacks sixty six. Uh, need counsel on removing coffee from uh, from necktie. Incident occurred 45 seconds ago. Beverage essence rapidly uh, setting into fabric. I see I didn't look at the timestamps. So I, I read what? it backwards. What mad fucking client is putting the new messages on top? If you're typing on the bottom, that makes sense. Think Discord. But Discord has the newest at the bottom. Oh, no, oh, yeah, you're right. What the fuck? Yo, yeah, so I'm guessing when you type, the typed message appears at the top. Has your typing. That's my this guess. This is some seriously fucked up business. Business, business, business. Alright, let me just zoom out. You there we go, nice game. and zoomed out. What did you do? Nothing. I can't see what he's doing. Nothing. Hey, I can. In a moment on the twi- <gasps> Why would you do this? <laughs> bad boy. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Sorry, sorry, go you ahead. You grab the PDA, switching back to stack modus, so it is irredibly- So it is readily accessible. The interface is oddly sterile. No hilarious clown wallpapers or anything like that. Oops, you mean Harlequin wallpapers. The serious business application is open. It seems your dad uses it to keep tabs on various acquaintances. 
His fellow street performers, maybe. <laughs> you guess the performing art must be pretty serious business after all. Wait. What does his dad do for a living? Apparently, according to this, he's a street performer. Huh. John, install pester cum. No! This should be useful. Now you can keep tabs on your chums while you wander around the house. John, go out to balcony. Hey, I'm out on the balcony now. I am messaging you from my dad's PDA. The one you threw out into the yard? No, I am telling you. It jumped out of my Celadex like a frightened weasel. What were you doing with it in the first place? I'm not sensing a lot of regard for the personal property of others. Is this how your pent-up frustration with your father manifests itself? What? No, those are all accidents. Please take your psycho babble uh, babblery elsewhere, miss. Your bathroom is a mess. Did you do that too? Oh man, see, this isn't cool. All this snooping nonsense. There's a cake in the toilet. Yes, there is. I'm tempted to clean it for you. Okay, if that will satisfy your weirdo OCD complex, then go ahead. My obsessive compulsive disorder complex? Can a disorder also be a complex? In your case, probably. Sounds complicated. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at this enormous platform thing you put in my balcony. John, examine the alchemeter in, <laughs> in a cautious manner. You have no idea what to do with this thing. You can't find any controls for it. Having exhausted all other possibilities, you just decide to stand on it. This isn't very cautious of you, actually. I was actually gonna make a comment about that, but the narrator beat me to the punch. John, <laughs> look through telemoscope. Telemoscope? Telemoscope. Telemoscope. To see the telemason. It is a clear, sunny day. Nothing out of the ordinary to report, at least not beyond the walls of your own home. Ah yes, look right into the sun through a telescope. Great idea. TT, grab the soiled toilet. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoops, what? Oh, that's costing this stuff. Equals equals greater than. Oh no. What was that noise? Is this something I should go investigate? No. I have it under control. You can keep playing with your uh, telescope. John, investigate. <laughs> what? Ah! I think I can patch it up. Just give me a little space. Why don't you go have a look at the Cruxtruder? The what? Uh, the thing I put in your living room. Pop down the hole. Jesus. My legs! Screw those kneecaps. You don't need them. Mm -hmm. You jump down to the utility room. John, get sledgehammer and card. Excuse me, how common is it for American families to just own a sledgehammer? If you, if you have a yard, I don't see it as unusual for like yard oh, yeah. work purposes. My family owns one, and I've met several people that own them. Fascinating. I don't think jo we have one. Uh, John, get sledgehammer and card. Sorry, I clicked it without saying. Oh, it's all good. You take the sledgehammer and the capture lock card, combine the two, and quickly apply to your strife specibus. You think it's cool that things don't always have to be a federal fucking issue. Things don't always have to be a federal fucking issue. There's yeah, something funny about that to me. Uh, equals equals greater than. It looks like another one of your chums is pestering you on your PD. Answer, chum. PDA. Have PD what? Do PDAs still exist? Definitely, they're just not common. What? 
makes them different from your regular box standard smartphone nowadays. What does PDA stand for? It's it's personal. Personal. To well, Google. Yeah, yeah, Google time. Oh no, that somehow brought me to a whole other set of answers. The German stands for something to do with birth pain. What? Oh, personal digital assistant. Ah. Also known as handheld P PC, is a variety of mobile devices functions as a personal information manager. PDCAs have been mostly uh, displaced by the widespread adaptation of highly capable smartphones, in particular based on uh, on iOS and Android. I guess it's basically just a smartphone that doesn't have a phone. So yeah, John, answer chum. Oh, you can have you can talk to yourself. Wait, what? Garden Gnostic began pastoring Actobiologist. Oh, that's right, because I play that character. God, what was Garden Gnostic's voice again? She is a very bubbly girl, very happy-go-lucky, very... upbeat. John, did you get my package? Does that sound good? Sounds about right. Uh... uh John, did you get my package? Oh, hey. No, not yet. Darn, are you sure? It was uh, in a green box. Oh, yes, but it's in my dad's car, and he's still out in the store. He should be back soon. Great. So, what are you up to today? <laughs> she's, uh, she's just angered with a lisp. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. I'm up to my neck in this suburb stuff. TT is making a royal mess of my house. Lol, what suburb? Oh, it's this game. It's okay, I guess. I'm still figuring it out. Whoa, what was that? What was what? There was a loud noise outside my house. It sounded like an explosion. Wow, really? I will go outside and look. Oh man, alright. Be careful, okay? I will. Might as well check out the... Crux Truder. That clown's terrifying. Mm hmm. Oh, hell no. You put this thing in front of the door? There. Is a door there? Um, yeah? Well, I didn't see it. I just thought it fit nicely into that groove. You mean you thought it was elegant? Okay, well. What do you do I do with this thing? Hello? What are you doing up there now? Equals equals greater than. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh fuck. Why? Why? She just hates bathroom decorations. Can you imagine if it was like this in Sims when you move the bathtub or toilet and just ripped the floor up? Yeah, actually why is the floor tucked to the items on top of it? Uh. Uh. uh, John, examine wheel on Cruxtruder. Uh, when you turn the wheel, something seems to be pushing up from underneath the lid. But you aren't strong enough to make the lid come off. He has noodle arms! He should noodle get- arm He should get his arm extenders. <laughs> TT, put bathtub in driveway. <laughs> hmm? Oh no. Connection lost. On a tub's journey to the driveway, the connection is interrupted. John, scold TT. <laughs> you can see me, right? <laughs> you can see me, right? Tell me what is wrong with this picture. Sorry. I keep losing the wireless signal. Must be the weather. I should look for a stronger signal in another part of the house, but I'd rather not risk an encounter with my mother. I battled through her cloud of gin and durious... derision. Once already this evening. Sorry, this is zooming in on Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yes. Cake, jesters... Unfaltering love and support. Quite a road to hoe there. 
though I suppose I'm complicit for not informing social services about your situation. I know. What about going outside? Or, I know. What about going outside? Maybe you could catch the neighbor's signal. That presents the same problem. Also, it's raining, remember? And dark. It's dark already? Yes. The sun has already had its way with us here on the East Coast. Its lurid glare has moved on to younger time zones. Ha! <laughs> um, okay. So he's a, he's a Californian kid. I suppose. Must or, be. or Midwestern. Uh, John, hit, hit Crook Struder with Sledgehammer. That sounds like such a bad idea. Need some help? TT, pick up Sledgehammer. Bonk. Oh no, that looks bad. Equals equals greater than. Or it was a good thing. That thing might need an epilepsy warning, actually. Yeah. Epilepsy you're running for the entirety of Homestuck. Let's just go <laughs> with that. Equals equals greater than. Oh. Uh, oh no. I, I, if this was released a little later, that would have been 420 and you know it. Hmm, yeah. What is this thing? And what is that clock counting down to? Uh, I've been looking at the game... What do you call it? Is it FAQ or FAQ? Game FAQ. I've been looking at the game FAQ. FAQ walkthroughs to figure some of this stuff out. Hold while I read further. Okay. All of these walkthroughs are extremely short. None progress much further than this point. Weird. Well, I mean, it is a new game. True. Now that the lid is off, you will need to extrude some cruxite. John, turn the wheel again. You extrude one cruxite dowel. That looks tasty. John, <laughs> get cruxite. That does look like candy. Like Gatorade candy. <laughs> I feel like we should be hurrying. The countdown is making me nervous, John. Oh, your PDA is trapped under the crux side now, isn't it? Anyway, it looks like you're going to need this card too. TT, deploy pre-punched card. John, get card. Hey, listen. <laughs> A shot of glass is expelled from the deck and maims the Holocron doll. Uh, John, capture log the fanciful Harlequin. <laughs> you take two fanciful Harlequins. The additional useless freight pushes your PDA to the last card. You then switch to the Q modus so you can access the PDA. More glass shrapnel flies from the deck. Equals equals greater than. Oh, what the fuck? I oh, is it weird that I can like audibly hear the sound effect that would make? Yeah. Like in my like I, I it's a sound I could not physically replicate, but I I. I feel in my heart I know what the audio of that text is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. This thing keeps following me around. I think it's trying to talk or something. Hey, listen! That is probably the kernel sprite. It apparently needs to be prototyped? Twice, actually. Whatever the hell that means. These walkthroughs are horrendously written. Hmm, okay. Well, you are the one with the cursor, so just whatever you think is the right thing to do. Also, fix my bathroom. What, you gotta go? TT, drop maimed Harlequin onto, Har uh, onto Colonel Sprite. Here we go, another animation coming up. Oh. You know, like, as soon as the S is in the, is in the brackets, that means an animation. Yeah. Oh, did you click already? Oh, yes, sorry. Ah. The Colonel Sprite has been prototyped with the Holocron doll. And I think... 
we're gonna wrap up this episode there. Hold on, let me turn this down a teeny bit. I'm trying to get my volume mixer open. Well. Well, I think we're gonna close this episode with that. Uh, but we're not done streaming yet. And as do you want to wrap up streaming or do you want to keep going? Keep going? Alright. So we'll be doing, uh... We're, we're not done streaming, we're gonna keep going for another episode, but on YouTube, that's the end of this episode, and, uh, the next episode, well, we'll pick up next episode with the Colonel Sprite having been prototyped, and whatever that causes. So, I've been, uh, god, sorry, I'm mildly distracted. <laughs> uh, I've been Brian or Ollyrec. And I'm Arm. Uh, and we'll be back shortly. If you've been enjoying this and you're on Twitch, say so down in the uh, suggestion box down below or suggest other series you'd like to see me play. I always try and check that. Uh, ch check that for feedback. Similarly, if you're on YouTube and you've been enjoying this and have feedback, say so down in the comments. Give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And if you're on Twitch and you've been enjoying this and the Twitch upload, give it a like, give it a reblog, comment on it, and if you want to speak to me more directly, uh, message me in my ask box on Twitch, which is probably the most direct way you can talk with me aside from being here on the streams. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Ta-ta. Bye.